John Louis is a chef and we had restaurant all our lives. Then we stopped doing it for a while. We sold the restaurant and wanted to kind of retire a little bit from the restaurant business. And we managed uh, retirement homes for about three years. And there you can take the chef out of the kitchen for so long, but after a while he gets that feeling that you know he wants to be cooking again. So we didn't want to reopen the restaurant anymore. Uh, that's a lot of headaches and employees not showing up or calling sick. So we just wanted to be just the two of us. And um, it was either a very small restaurant where we could do the whole job ourselves or he, we thought about why not a food truck. <laughs> my name is Yvette. And my name is Jean-Louis. And, and we, we are, are the, the owners owner of the, the Belgian, Belgian waffle, waffle truck. truck. The business is different than a restaurant. A restaurant, you are there and the people come to you. The good thing about the truck is that you go where the people are. So if you, if you know there is a big concentration of people uh, in a certain place, well, and you, you need to research a little bit, knowing where all those groups will be and when, and then you try to uh, talk to the people in charge of the, the event, and eventually you just show up, and that's when, that's when you get the, the, the best chance of selling your product. It's an investment that's not as big as a restaurant, but it's still an investment. You know, you need to buy the truck, make sure you have all the equipment inside, uh, electricity, plumbing. You have to have all the licenses, like uh, the city license, the state license. You have to go through you, uh, the public health. You have to go through a certification. So everything has to be up to code in your truck. So it was a lot of research we had to do to find out what your city or your state requires. Bonjour. Even go for the Liège. Those are Liège waffle. Liège is our hometown in Belgium, and this is the typical uh, waffle that we are eating there. So you go down the street, and you can smell. And you know there's a little shop somewhere that are baking those. And you stop by, go to the window, buy your waffle, they'll give it to you. And then you go down the street and eat your waffle. Awesome. With the berry. Thank you so much. Those waffles are different than the Brussels waffles that you would, you would think of. The Brussels waffle is made out of a batter and it's more square and fluffy waffle. Our waffle is made out of the dough. So it's got yeast, it's got a flour, egg, and milk and butter in it. And uh, it's more dense than a uh, regular Belgian waffle that you would think. Sometimes they say, oh, I really love that. And, and they never tried it before. So it's a good feeling to make them discover something else and, and, and see that they appreciate what we are trying to do. And he's a perfectionist, so he likes, you know, everything to be done. And so when people come back and say that, it's, it's really a good feeling. Well, and as a chef, I always like to, to cook for people and make them taste something they may maybe not taste before. And uh, this is a nice, nice feeling when they come to you and, and they say, oh, that was really good. Most of the time I say, I know, but you know, that's just a joke to me. <laughs> and people like it, they have a kick out of it, but, uh, but I know it's good, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Usually you say that the man, you know, you can get a man by making good food and you keep him because you make good food, but that was the opposite. He got me with the food. And she was cute. <laughs> <laughs> and so we lived in Illinois, the snow was a little too much. We liked it the south better, so we decided to move down south and we had some friends living here in Colombia, so we visited them and fell in love with the city and it's a university town, a little bit like Champaign-Urbana, Illinois, where we are from, so we like the university feeling where there is a lot of culture and people from all over and we thought that would be a perfect town. They didn't have much 
food trucks yet, so we decided to open it here. City of Colombia is getting there. Uh, <laughs> I think the city of Colombia needs to to work a little bit on the new food truck business here in town. But most of the part, most of the, the, the places we go, yes, we have a really nice support. Uh, and actually, it's it's pretty trendy right now. And eventually, people will get used to it, and uh, and things will be good. Well, nous sommes nous sommes très contents d'être à Colombia, en Caroline du Sud, et nous avons beaucoup de plaisir à servir nos gaufres de notre camion ici. Like I just said, uh, we are really happy to be in Colombia, South Carolina, and really happy to serve our waffles on the truck.